Welcome back, everyone, to the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. I'm your host, Romanian Mocha Lover. And right now, we can choose another focus. In the last episode, I asked you guys whether we should choose foster Romanian industry or restore the grazing lands. Now, there's support for both sides, but ultimately, it comes up to foster Romanian industry. So, Romania will only become a modern country when its industry is developed to a level equivalent to other Western nations of its size. The king wants to subsidize industry even more than he already has, so we can make an industry worthy of our nation. We got lots of political power here, and last time we beat the snot out of Bulgaria with our allies, and as someone said in the comments, maybe we should let up and stop bullying the Bulgarians so much. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I still would like Transylvania, but we'll have to wait for that. Uh, we should probably get this design company as fast as possible. Who do we want here? Ship designs? Destroyer light attack? Submarine more torpedo attack? Naval company? Uh, that's okay if we use destroyers. I don't really want to use them so much, so. Uh, actually, what is our trade like? It's not great. I think right now we can still get this one going, perhaps. Naval company? Sure, why not? We're probably not going to focus that much on our navy, honestly, so. We'll see what happens. And we're having a good time. Uh, let's see. Someone also recommends that we take take the Turkish Straits eventually. So we'll see what happens. We'll see about that. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. As well as we should now focus much more on Austria. Yes, Austria is a much bigger threat to us, especially because well, we're basically surrounded on two sides here. We're really the entire well, technically two sides, one big old continuous border technically. So, and of course, we have the Serbians here. Uh, I think it would be. Oh, uh, can I manually justify on them? I can't. Darn it. Long live our Tsardom, so the 4th International, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, the Chief of the Army, we're probably going to have to go on the defense to be realistic here. I want to keep using our extra construction speed bonus, so we'll keep it there. Air superiority, let's go with air superiority. And after this, focus on quality, legacy of Bertolot would not be bad. And we're currently doing what land doctrine? The Grand Battle Plan Land Doctrine, very cool. Next up, lessons from the Balkan War. The Balkan War, we found ourselves fighting, it was costly, but also co can be used to teach us. We should take strategies that worked well in the conflict and use it to train our military into a more effective fighting force. Very, very good. And also, I do want to start making some more 40 combo with divisions, because that's going to be super important for the future, even though we don't have enough uh, equipment, really, to wage an effective war. Let's just put it like that. Right now, we're using our Infantry Division 2. Not bad. Katie's a little bit more artillery. Yeah, I could use quite a bit more artillery and actually support them. We could just use so much more of a lot of stuff, so. And currently, we do have some Chinese volunteers that I did send over here. And they're just kind of hanging out. They actually got encircled, but they still have the port over here, so that's not too bad. Good luck. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good, good, good. As long as you keep beating them up, we'll do hopefully relatively okay. And actually, this is going to give us more army XP, which is very nice. Come on, Chinese guys. Win, 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 win. Oh, my goodness. We definitely need to edit this template. All we have are Mountaineers, Light Infantry with... Guns, that's literally it. Oof. And we're still building ourselves up a little bit more, 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 which is a very, very, very good thing. Next up, we're going to build some more, maybe right there. Civilian factories, and then more military factories as well. Chinese volunteers, we're still looking like we're doing okay. And these Manchurian divisions will hopefully perish soon enough. It's, it's 1938, we're doing some of that stuff. We could get armored cars, but we're going to wait. Tanks can wait. This, uh, it's not bad. Land doctrine we're going ahead with. It is 38. It's almost 39. Maybe some more rubber? Let's get some extraction. Extraction is almost always good to get. So, improve infantry equipment. Then we will do what? Some more oil. I think we have enough oil for now. How, how many days ahead of this? That's eh, not too bad. We'll get into dispersed industry. It's not that bad ahead of time. Cool. And did they land anywhere else? Yes, they did. Let's see if we can hold down here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh boy, we got some grand battle plan finally. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, good. good. And we'll grab some prepared defenses because we're going to need as much defense as possible. Very nice. And we're just waiting for our boys to get down here. We're training our infantry still. Good God, we need more guns. Hey, we got some more guns. Nice. Oh, we have more army XP. And actually, are these guys actually 40 combat width, or what? Well, let's do this first. Strengthen our ties with Russia. Prepare against Austria-Hungary. Let's do strengthen our ties. The young Russian Republic seems to be a rising power on the global stage. We should align ourselves with them in order to secure an alliance. Sounds like a good idea, does it not? Sounds like a very good idea, actually. Uh, oh, we got more army XP, too. We have 40 com These are 40 combat width. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's make sure that these divisions are fairly decent as well. We're going to throw on artillery so they have a little bit more uh, attack and such. And throw on guns. Thank you. Come again. We don't have that many Mountaineers anyway, so we have one division of Mountaineers, so it's not that big of a deal. 
And I'm just waiting for them to attack us again. Are they... Oh, well, they are attacking. They are stacking bodies, so... Come on, guys, do something. Oh, they have a little bit of attrition, which is nice. I love seeing enemy attrition. And it's almost December. Oh, boy. Don't let them get up to Fuz Huo. Fuz Hu. Nice. Don't lose down there, boys. Don't lose. That's not good for you. National Spirit compromised the land holders. Nice. Very, actually, that's actually pretty nice. And after that, we shall prepare against Austria Hungary. If Austria Hungary is not willing to peacefully hand over our rightful territory, we must take it by force. Seems pretty reasonable, especially if Austria Hungary goes to war with Russia, but we'll see what happens with them. Oh, they actually lost. Are you kidding me, man? Keep moving, boys. Keep moving. Artillery is looking not too bad. So is the support equipment. That's not too bad either, so. That they haven't made navally invaded anywhere else. We have the Austrian East Indies over here. We have the German Empire over there. Not bad. And we can go ahead and do this some more. I think I'm just gonna go for defense anyways now. So now let's see if they'll attack anywhere else. Or if our these guys will attack anywhere else. Uh yeah, maybe it's time to go ahead and get back to limited exports. That's probably a good idea. After excavation, it's almost 39, so let's go and do some more construction, because construction, I think, is a very, very good thing to do. But Happy New Year, everyone! Happy 1939! Oh, Second Hungarian Revolution. Dual monarchies just don't work? Oh! What's going on here? Can we actually go to war with them? That'd actually be very cool. Can we... No, oh, come on. Oh, oh, who are you? Your portrait looks very wonky, but that's okay. Oh man, can I send another division? That'd be really cool, actually, if I could. Are any of you guys 40? Mm, you are 40 combat with, yeah. Alright, we'll see what happens with these guys. See what the Austrians are up to, because the Hungarians look like they're just, they're not capable of war for now. I am a little worried about a, Bul a second Bulgarian war with these guys, since we won the first war, but doesn't mean we're going to win this next war either, so. Can you guys actually win? No? Okay, just kind of hang out then. Oh, an actual truck division. Nice. Oh, there's horses too. Oh, god dang it. Come on, we can't even get over there. Arr. And we do have horses. These divisions are not bad. We have some motorized. Which only 20 combat with. Let's go through that one too. Now, since we have these guys anyways. Um, I want to cut you guys down. I want to convert one of our horses to that type of template, though. We don't, definitely don't have enough motorized, but that's all right. There you go. You're going to be much weaker, but whatever. Well, that sucks. I want to help out the Hungarians, because the enemy of my enemy is my enemy, so. Nope, still can't win there, huh? That sucks. There's only one division. There's not much you can really do here in China, so. Bear against austria Hungary is a good idea. Reintegrate our territory claims. That'd be really good as well. But let's keep focusing on ourselves with quality. Let's go with the legacy of Bartlot because that's the way we want to go. Henri, Henri Bartelot headed the French military mission in Romania during the Valkyrie. It was largely thanks to his efforts that we were un we were able to rebuild our forces after the 1916 debacle and achieve several victories against a combined Central Powers offensive. As such, his legacy has been enduring amongst our officers. Many is wanting to rebuild the Romanian army he had in 1917. We should get some army XP, we get some uh, research bonuses, which will be actually really, really, really beneficial for us. Are you still down here? No. Where did the division go? Oh, you're up right here. It's not bad. Because I know they're going to attack here soon enough, so. Can you actually win here, maybe? No? Yes? No? Yes? I don't want to send my Air Force down here just because it's going to get really bad. Like, I don't want to lose planes, so. Oh, and you're back. There you go. Keep training if you need it. And you're the only one fighting. God dang it. I was waiting for the Japanese offense, which is happening down there. Okay. Nice. There you go. Yeah, just guard us. I don't think we get, we have enough men to guard all the borders. Which also includes this one over here, which really, really sucks. Oh boy, that's a big old board we gotta defend. Woof. Um, I'm a little more worried about this side over here, but you know what? There's not really much we can do. We can we're getting daily army XP, which is nice. 
And then, after the Legacy, the Carpathian Fortress says, yes. It's no secret that we will be fighting in the Carpathian Mountains once again soon. The Great Chain of Mountains greatly favors the defenders, and with Austro-Hungary controls the passes, we must be ready to meet their attacks head-on. Fortifications will ensure that any attack will pay a serious price and allow us to counterattack effectively. Pretty good. It is 39, of course. Let's grab some more artillery, even though I should make some more guns. But that's alright. China's a playground, and come on, Japanese Empire, attack. Actually, do they have a the vanilla focus tree, or what do they have under Hirohito? Ah, uh, no, it's it's a, a, maybe slightly you know, generic, like the normal one from vanilla, but it's not bad. Cool. Nice, you definitely want those forces. Forts, I mean, forts, 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 forts. After that, I'm probably actually going to go ahead and found the AI. IAR. The Industria Aeronautica Romagna is an air plant, aircraft plant in Bucharest, specializing in developing new training aircraft. We need expanded facilities to give them the capacity to help to help our air force grow, which would be good for air research speed, fighter attack, which I, just, I th think we're going to need against Austria Hungary. So, China, please stop going crazy like this. Screw it. I'm going to put you guys up here because you guys look like you could actually use some help up there. Eon? Anything? No? Okay. Uh, we could save our political power. I do... Let's go and do this one. There we go. We got enough steel for now. We help out with our uh, aluminum. Slightly, 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 slightly more. Now are the Japanese attacking? No? That's good. We're about in 20 days. Carpathian Fortresses will be nice. Yeah, I'm never there whenever we need to do the right thing against enemy aggression. Oof, they're making a few light tanks too, that's kind of nice. Are we actually making tank divisions? Yeah, we are, huh? Which aren't very good, to be honest with you. Yeah, but we need 25 army XP for that, huh? Alright, let's grab this one. Nice. Construction 3, let's grab some better guns. Nice. Not too bad. There's obviously not a ton going on right now, but, you know, that's why we embroil ourselves in the war against China. Or war with China. Or war aiding China. This town's going to get hit hard, so these guys will get in circle, probably. I mean, you can help out, I guess. And they're doing okay there. You can support the attack, too. If you want to. It's probably not going to succeed if these guys don't keep attacking and... Keep abandoning the line, but whatever. Nice. So now maybe we'll grab some more anti-air, perhaps. That could be pretty useful. Even though we're not going to be making it. But you never know. Nice. Good. China, please stop killing off your own men, please. A bunch of crazies. Oh, you did a good job down here, though. That's pretty good. Alright, next research will be done in three months. After this one, Black Sea Fleet, the Delta Danube. Let's get some more daily naval XP. How about that? The Great Danube forms our southern border and it is essential for both our defense and our economy. Now that is finally in our hands, again, we can utilize it once again as an artery of trade, transport, and shipbuilding industry, which I think is a very good thing. Because it's not much, but you get more daily naval XP, less consumer goods, more fact dockyard output, I should say. So not bad. I'm going to see the Valkyrie. Eh, that stuff is okay. You get military factories, but we need to own Transylvania for that. Explain the Fatilla. Lots of blueprints. Blueprints. Ship designer. I've already chosen the other ship designer. It's fine. Uh, control the Danube. You get even more consumer goods and more dockyard output. Not bad. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Fighters. I don't think we can really support too much else, but go with fighters. That's fine. Cool. How? It is July 3rd, 1939. And what's going to happen? You guys are killing each other. Uh, you guys are in. Oh, no. Greece is in. Huh. Um, no. Well, this is weird. Join wars? Are you guys... You guys aren't fighting them. Which kind of sucks for the Greeks, but it doesn't look like it sucks too much then, I guess. Especially when the only Albanian division gets encircled. Wow. And what... Oh, there's the French guys. Go. Okay. Yeah, the Greeks. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. Not bad, and I suppose you're a... 
Oh, you're not a puppet. That's very weird. House of Azogu, huh? You should have just kept him as a puppet. That actually would have been really, really nice and strong. Wow, the Ottoman Empire really sucks right now. Uh, I guess they're destined to lose, maybe? Oh, the Mashriki Kingdom. Construction effort three. Liberty ethos. Liberty ethos. Prepare for desert. Well, you should already be prepared for a desert war because it's not looking too good for you right now. How's it coming over here? Yeah, that attack, not really smart to do. Um, if you'd like to come up here. Oh, no, never mind. You're getting attacked. Finally, you get, you're getting a little action. Thank goodness. Wow, we need way more equipment. Then again, we do have five divisions over here, too, so. Are we done building stuff? Oh, nice. Loads more of that. Just build, like, all this. I can build... Eh, actually, you know what? Instead of that one, build a dockyard so we can at least repair stuff here. So that'd be kind of nice. And then build some radar stations around here and build more air bases. That'd be really nice. Very cool. Cool. And expand the northern fortifications. Ooh, we get some more land for construction speed, but we'll do that later. Weapon contracts. If Romania is to succeed in a future conflict, we need to make our industry make sure our industry is up to the task of producing enough equipment for a new army. Okay, guys, what is going on? Like, I, I get it that we should go to war with them, but you went to war, but you're not even touching them. Um... I don't see the point of going to war with these guys. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's worth it. Like, we can't even reach their land, so... And yeah, I know they're losing it all, but still. What would the point be of that? Is there a point of that? We're working better on guns, which is nice, but... Yeah, guys, I, I don't know about that one, man. I really don't know about that one. Extraction, let's get some more cap, because I think we're probably pretty much already maxed out on cap. Good, finally, convoys. And can actually repair our ships. There you go, nice. Finally, they're getting some repairs. Uh, toad, anti, I mean, maybe. That's pretty, it's good for anti-air stuff, obviously, but still. Another truck, nice. Set that to low priority. Oh, nice, very good, very good. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the point of going to war with them. That just hurts our stability and our ability to produce stuff, so... Shells not meant. We have a severe manpower disadvantage against our likely enemies, making Romanian lives even more valuable. Material losses, meanwhile, are far easier to replace. As such, we must stockpile more and more weapons and ammo to ensure that artillery can properly shield our irreplaceable infantry. Good. They went to war. We can't do that one, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Carpathian hunters would be really nice, actually. It's 39. We got the guns. We got the artillery. We are working on a lot of stuff at the same time. Extraction? Probably. So we can get slightly more tungsten. Can we get? No, 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 I guess not. Second victory, war is heck. Well, the war's begun. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, oh boy, that's not ideal. Oops, my apologies about that. We got so much political power. What do we do? I'll see. Ooh, Netherlands joined. All right. Yeah, we could probably do that. That would be bad. We have enough political power as is, so. 1.48 ain't too bad. And how are we doing over here? Are we actually still getting attacked? What's going on? Yeah, we are. Just kind of hanging out. Getting attacked. Hopefully getting more experience for our very green general, Stepan. Or Stefan Ponaru. But at least he's learning, right? Uh, that's the most important thing to do. Keep making yourself better. No, that would be a while for that. So after this, Carpathian Mountain Hunters. Yeah, I definitely want to do this stuff. Ooh, we get a bonus to the end after though. I want to do this one later just because I want to build force later on. Carpathian Hunters. The Vantatori, Vantatori or Hunters were formed in 1970. Modeled after the French Chasseurs Alpine in response to Austria-Hungary's elite Kaiserschützen. Mountain warfare will be inevitable in the future and our mountaineers must be ready to fight a deadly modern war in the Carpathians. Absolutely. And we get more daily naval XP. Nice, 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 nice. It's not looking good for China, I'll be honest. It's really not looking good. Keep building ourselves up. More military factories. More, 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 more. Uh, actually, Anso Dona. Oh, boy. We need more artillery. So we got one army here. We got one sort of army here. We have only five divisions over there. Um, if Okay, so if we go to war and the Berlin Pact wants to jump on in, what we're going to do, probably try to take out Bulgaria first and defend the line against the Austrians as best as possible. So, I'm really hoping that the Russians are very, very strong. That's what I'm hoping for. Yep, 
Yeah, trying to please stop attacking. We still hold on to Beijing, which is good, but please stop attacking, please. Uh, stability. Let's grab some stability too. Why not? We got enough war support for a while. And oh, the Germans are making headway into the communists already. Um, well, that's not good. Or I guess radical socialists. After that, expand the Mountaineer Corps. The Corpul de Munta must be further expanded in order to properly defend our great mountains from the enemy. We need more, better trained mountaineers to ensure our success in our campaign to liberate Romanians across the Carpathians. Which would be very, very good. Alright, up next. Yeah, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say, so far. Uh, material designer. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I want to wait so badly for that. Chief of the Navy. Uh, naval speed. I guess we do that one, since we can choose something here, right? How are we doing on all this? We're just waiting for more equipment. That's literally at motorized and artillery. We can probably go down to two. Go up to two and three. Machine tools. Nice. 1940. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's grab some improved computer machine. And are we still training? No. Oh, there goes Armenia. Goodbye, Armenia. Guys, please stop attacking. Let them attack us, please. We get a thousand people a month. Not bad. We will have to raise our conscription level eventually, though. So. I love how fast this mod can move, though. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Secure borders, nice. That's actually going to be very, very helpful. Uh, political power. Oh, there goes Armenia. Goodbye, Armenia. Civilian factory, political backstabber. Uh, Prince of Terror. I'll probably do Prince of Terror eventually, too. Excavation. Civilian. Nope, nothing there. Awesome. Put 1940. Better artillery, anyways. Grand battle plan. Infiltration. We're using mostly infantry. We would like to use tanks. But I think it's best to probably go down this way. We need to get some recon next. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot for defense here. Or just defense on either side. But this one, that, the right side is better for infantry, I think. So that's the way we will go. Yeah, it's not looking good for China, is it? Oh, my goodness. And then, bleed our enemies right. High altitude training. Oops. Yeah, let's let it go on anyways as we read it. The peaks and narrow passes of the Carpathians will never become a battlefield again. Ski troops have proven to be instrumental in this type of terrain. We must ensure that we have soldiers trained in this difficult and specific method of warfare. How are the how's the war going against the Ottomans? Because even if I get involved, that means we have to use player like peace conferences to fight them, and I, that gets really annoying for this. I think they'll win eventually. The Ottomans aren't doing great, but the Greeks aren't really doing very much about that. So yeah. Well, might as well expand this, right? We're building more stuff here. Can we build any more? Yes, yes. We have the single dockyard, which is nice. Help us repair some ships that need it. And we're definitely trying to improve our artillery. How many guns do we have in reserve? None! Okay. <clears throat> Support companies. Uh, grab some more defense. We're going to need that. We're definitely going to need that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy, that is not ideal, but we will see what happens with them killing each other and expand the fortifications, which maybe I should have done earlier. The current line of fortifications is completely inadequate. The Moldavia remains poorly defended. The line must be extended to cover the northern passes before we can improve the existing strong pointerinos. We got a lot of army XP. Look at that. Look at that. That's really, really nice. Nice. Very good. Well, it's now June 17th, 1940. We finished our last focus. And I've already begun justifying on the Austrian Empire just because I would like to see if we can pull soldiers away from other fronts that Austria is currently dealing with and instead make them deploy soldiers around us, making their front hopefully a little bit weaker. We'll take a look at the casualties very soon, but let's do the lessons of Marasti and Marasetsti. The war against the Central Powers are riddled with Romanian tactical victories despite our enemy's strategic victory. The battles of Marasti and Marasetsi are the greatest example of Romanian skill and bravery in the face of overwhelming odds. We must learn what made these victories so great and what made the campaign a failure before we can fight them again. So let's take a quick look and let time go on as we look at the Mongolian-Austrian War. Third of a million versus a quarter million. Okay, so Russia's losing quite a few guys. They probably have more divisions in total, but... Well, we can go to war if we really want to. How's this war going? Wow, uh, it's not too bad for the Chinese so far. The second Bell Creek, wow, 1.5 million versus the third. Wow, holy crap. Germany's definitely made gains, but at what cost? Especially when these guys are encircled here. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, that's not great. Oh, the Arabian Ottoman War, 1.27 million. But that's not too bad. Uh, they still might be able to make it, so we'll see what happens. Um, oh, hello. Oh, they're pushing in. I kind of like that. I really don't want getting involved in this. Oh, maybe we should stop training. 
I really don't want to get involved in the war when, when we're not really ready. So we'll do it maybe something like this, perhaps. Uh, we're not going to guard Serbia, though. That might be a little bit too short of a line for me, personally. And there we go. Just in case, I know this is really bad to do. Especially since we left our you know, southern border completely undefended against the Bulgarians. So... You guys go there. You guys go there. And then the 40 combat widths go right there. There you go. Cool. Yeah, we do this. I mean, the Russians... They are pushing in. That's, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at what Ukraine has got. Von Habsburg, about 200,000 manpower, probably unlimited conscription. Stockpile, we can't see. We can't see 140 divisions in total. About three quarters of a million manpower. Off screen, I also went and got some coffee, which is pretty nice. And bleed our enemies dry. Let them come to us across the treacherous mountain passes. We will greet them with lighting steel from our guns. We will bleed them dry before they can even take a single Romanian life. This time, they will be... The ones to foot the bill for this war for national unification. We get more max entrenchment, artillery, attack, and defense, and more max planning. I want to get that one done first before we even go to war, so. Oh! Oh, hold on. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to lose the war now. This will actually be kind of nice. I want to see these guys rush soldiers over there, and then we're going to rush into them, so. Give it a few more days. I really, really want to get this one done first, but we'll see how far we can get, or how far these guys get first. Because the Russians are up there. I'd hate to be Austria right now. Maybe I'll play them once already. I'll play probably play them again sometime, though. Oh, the Ukrainians aren't even guarding the border. That's nice. Oh, that is nice. Ooh, if we want to have a real decisive victory, though, we might just call these guys in. Let's take a look at Bulgaria, though. Develop the naval base in Vana. A military with a state. Long live our traditions. They did go with this. Power the Tsar. Expand the Tsar's rule. Who's leading these guys? Uh, it is Boris the Third. So the power of the Tsar. I think is this one, right? Um, trade deal with the German Empire. Align with the Russian Republic. Trade deal with the German. We, uh, I don't know. I mean, if we go fast enough, we could probably do really, really well. We only have fifty-one factories. Yeah, they're not doing super well. God dang, over skip. My goal is to come like right here and just go straight up north and do something like that. So we can cut off all the, you know, Austrian allies, Austrian and their allies over here. Cut them completely off. Let the Russians flood in and let them have a good time with that. So. And of course, we still have you guys around here too. We don't have to call in our allies. The Ottoman Empire still. Oh, Chris S. For, oh, what the heck? I'm not going to read that, but why? What do you mean, Chris S. for weak one? Oh, we need to get this. Well, we gotta do this again. Cutting it. All right. After this, then we'll go ahead. So, in the meantime, after this, we shall do expand the dad new flotilla, the Black Sea Fleet. The remaining navy remains fairly small, certainly not enough to protect our Black Sea coast. It is about time we enlarge it into a proper force, and a new naval program will be enacted to this end. Very good. Doctrinal experts actually might be really good to do as well, but hey, that's okay. We got a few days left, and that's totally, totally fine. What are we building? We're building, uh, we are building a lot of forts, so that's actually really, really nice. And because we can't build anything else here, so, which really, really sucks. And you can buy Austrian posturing, very good. Good, good. Nice. Oh, wait, maybe we want to do this one first. Military Technical Academy Ferdinand I was founded and organized to train much needed specialists and engineers to support the modernization of the Romanian armed forces. Very cool. Let's move in, and maybe we can grab another general. Uh, field Marshal. Uh, I think they're all leading someone already, so. Victor? Hello, Victor. Well. I'm gonna war with these guys as well. Yep. There we go. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can do relatively okay. Hopefully we don't fight too many people at once. Maybe, maybe not. Cut them off, cut them off. Go, horses, go! You're doing a great job! Oh, boy, once they get cut off, though. And they're cut off. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ukraine's gonna fall. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, one of you guys go to Brest-Litovsk. Go to Ravno, Zitomir, Kiev. I don't care what it takes to kill these Austrians off. Oh, d oh, the Serbs are in it. Oh, the Italians are doing tremendous! Wow! Oh, we might get someone up here, too. Someone's going to... Hey, Italy, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take some stuff. Cool. I know it's gonna be costing us quite a few guys, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, no, I'm good. I am quite good. 
Would you like military access, guys? Yes. Oh, the soldier's back home. That's nice. Throw him right there. Very good. Thank you. Hey, we got infantry offensives too. Nice. Go around him. And we'll go with armored operations. It's 1940. Good year. Good year for us. All right, let's take a look here. So we've lost 19,000. They've lost quite a few dudes. Uh, we've killed off 19,000. Not bad. Ukraine is not looking good. Once the Ukraine's gone, it's over for them. That's go it's got to be 100% over. Zog submits to Italy. Okay, then. Yeah, the Italians... Not even us, but the Italians were the main reason why I think they're winning. Just because there's so many other divisions that they got to deal with. Just keep the pressure up. As long as we keep the pressure up, that's all that really matters to me. Because once the Ukraine's gone, it's, it's over. Oh, we overran a division. Nice. Nice job, guys. Good. Nice, nice. Come on. Good. Wait, why are you going that way? Nice. Keep pushing. I'd hate to be Austrian right now. Oh, Ukraine's almost gone. Almost gone. Uh, can we do anything else here? War bonds actually probably be pretty nice. We do more integration of stuff. Anything else here? Not really. I don't really care about any of that stuff. That's alright, though. Oh, these guys have been cut off. They're going to die here. Uh, Academia Technica Militar. Cool. Black Sea Fleet. It is. I don't care what losses we incur. We got it. Win, 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 win. Come on. Take Kiev. Come on, Russia. Come on, come on, come on. The boys are dying. That's a lot of divisions there, too. I'm not going to lie. At least for us, that's like seven, six, seven, six, or something like that. Oh, they got it. Nice. The Kingdom of Ukraine is gone. Awesome. All right, let's come back over here and reinforce the lines and stop attacking for now. We give you guys up just to beat these guys over here. That's fine. Shannon Gulf. Or let the Russians deal with that. Oh, yeah, we got that extra resource slot now. Nice. Beautiful. 1940, grab some more engineers, and not bad. Alright, so the Russians did a great job with that. Um, There's no real exploitative holes we can administer here, but maybe you can do something about this. As you tell from the episode, this is pretty much the last episode. There's not much after this, so we'll see what happens. Let's give our guys some rest. They we're out, completely out of guns. We're out of a lot of we're out of a lot of things. So there you go. Um, we'll probably go to close economy too. There you go. That should help out with a little bit more steel, which would be nice. I have no interest in finding the Ottoman Empire, so we'll see what happens. And so we've lost about eighty-five thousand. They've lost. Well, at least we killed off one hundred sixteen thousand. So not bad. Oh man, water's pretty tasty. Not gonna lie. We've got plenty of support equipment though. That's kinda nice. Div Infantry Division 2. Uh, we have no engineers on these guys, huh? Well, whatever. They're they're useful. They're actually really, really useful. And here come the Russians. Nice. Oh, Greeks, yes. Oh, uh, do you guys have any upgrades? Oh, uh, oh yeah, I mean that gives you plus one eventually, so. Improved artillery, very nice. It's 1940s, grab some 1941 stuff. And, well, the Russians are here holding out Black Sea Fleet. Kind of wish I could join their faction, but I guess I guess we can. So, whatever. Uh, Gallipoli? No, no, that's not Gallipoli. Forts. Doctrinal efforts. New plans and pilots are all nice and important, but doctrine cannot fall behind. Since aerial warfare remains a very new concept with an unfamiliar future, we must invest in trial and experimentation to ensure that our pilots and com commanders keep up with global developments. I think that's a real good idea. Now, the Italians are doing a great job. The Serbs are doing a great job. We're going to really break up Austria-Hungary here. So that's the main goal. How are we looking over here? Actually, not too bad. Help them out, maybe. We'll probably bust through here. Probably shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Maybe? No? Yes? Maybe. We'll see. Oh, Venice? Okay. 
Austria-Hungary and Germany sued for peace. The tyrannical Habsburg monarchy's troops have been beaten on the field of battle by our glorious liberating armies and enough that they only not wish to sue for peace but also have to run to the Germans for protection. The German Empire has agreed to allow us any claims which do not impede on whatever they consider Austrian core land, so as long as we join in with the Kingdom of Serbia. It was already agreed to the arrangement. Failure to do so will mean war with the entire Reichspact. Now we should end the Habsburgs once and for all? Um, so okay, we'll see what happens then. Okay, Russian Republic, you go to war with Afghanistan? Well, I kind of want to see what happens. Now, happy 1941, everyone. Okay, Treaty of Budapest. Delegates from the Kingdom of Romania met with their German and Habsburg counterparts in Budapest to hammer out the peace terms. In the ensuing treaty, the Austrians have ceded all our claims except for those in the core Austrian lands in exchange for peace. This is a glorious day indeed, for the Balkans are finally free from foreign interference, and our ethnic brothers are finally reunited with the homeland. A great victory. Look at that. Not bad. I mean, someone, like I said earlier, someone did say we should get like the TNO borders. Uh, I don't know if we can actually get all the way to like Odessa and such, but hey, that's fine with me. We're looking pretty darn nice. And we own Transylvania, so... Beautiful, but unfortunately... Oh, look, there's Yugoslavia, look at that! Oh, look at that, that's so beautiful. Except they don't have Sylvania, but hey, whatever. Nice, good job, Italy, you keep it up. I think you might be fighting Germans soon, but hey, whatever. Um, nice, Peter the Second's here. Awesome, I need to play as these guys sometime, eventually, too, but... That's not bad. Actually, you even got Vojvodina. Look at that. No cores. That's all right. Oh, yeah, you, don't, you really don't have a lot of cores and stuff, do you? Honestly, this looks really, really cool. The Balkan League is victorious against the evil, well, Reichspact, or really just, I guess, Berlin Pact, but just Austria. Wow, I thought we had a normal uh, disintegration, but I guess that's pretty much going to be it for us then. Um, hmm. Not really much else to say about that. It, oh. I guess we could sit here and just kind of, kind of watch what happens eventually, maybe. Just just watch what could happen. Um, at least watch what how Germany's going to die. But let's do flying artillery. Light bomber aircraft rapidly gained the moniker flying artillery during the Valkyrie as their use in the field has been rapidly seen as a new form of artillery. As artillery remains the king of the battlefield, it's only natural that we invest in apparent aerial successes. Cool, I mean, this is more, probably one of the shortest campaigns I've ever done. Just because, well, there's not a whole lot for us to do after we win the war, I guess, you know. Since I, I, I'm not super interested in continuing this, just because we don't have that many more focuses. And we can move on to other campaigns too, but Victory of the Dual Monarchy is a mod I, I do enjoy quite a bit. Oh, they actually can just go straight on in. Okay then. Not bad. And these are, these are oh, these are just claims. Okay. Can we integrate those territories eventually, maybe? Return territory, civilian oversight. Um, we got another division. That's kind of nice. We got another truck division. Good. So we're done with the trucks. You all have to be trucks now, though. So, there we go. Goodbye. Oh, actually, is there? Is that literally it? Focus on quality? Yeah, there's no no way we can get more cores, maybe? Oh, here it is. Now that all Romanian people are within our borders, it's time to consolidate our new territories and truly make them our own. Oh, so we just need more compliance, and then we can court. Oh, that's not bad. That's kind of good. That's actually really good. I wish there was a way to get more compliance there, but, like... Because I was playing the Dreams of Austria mod, and, uh... Like, you could raise compliance through decisions by spending, spending political power, spending more manpower, and stuff like that, but... Okay, very nice. So, okay, now the Germans are definitely losing here. Yeah, they've lost the Rhine. Almost the Rhine. They've almost lost the Rhine. Oh, boy. Oh, we're doing that, too. It's very nice. 1941, more construction speed. Why not? I love short campaigns. Oh, they're at the Rhine now. Uh-oh. Flying artillery, how about we do... Focus on industry or quality. Romania will never likely see a developed industrial base comparable to the other great industrial powers of the world. However, instead of focusing on quantity, Romania should focus on its quality of its limited capabilities in order to secure its own little niche in a large, large world. Yeah, Russia's doing a number on them. But not nearly as much as the uh, these guys down here. Yeah, I need to play as a coming to France sometime. It sounds like a lot of fun. Radical socialists, huh? Very cool. And their ally, the very strong ally, Algerian social state, led by... Hussam Nagi. Nagi. What new girl's last name was Nagi? Oopsie. Oh, I'm still not doing your war, guys. I'm sorry. No matter how Oh, we actually... We eventually made tanks. We didn't even use them in the war, but that's okay. Surprised Bulgaria's not killing us yet. All the Ottomans have not given up yet, because the Arabian League just loves killing their own men off. Go figure. Come on, guys. Can you win here? Italy, what's going on? What's going on, big ol' Italy? All right, all right, stockpile, not much there. Oh, a little bit of lag. The French, they do need to finish these guys off here. I think as well as the Netherlands. But the Russians, they're slowly coming in, so... 
Mm, oh, they did technically take back Vienna, so we'll see what happens. Maybe in just a little bit. Maybe I'll do a fade and fade out and show you a little bit more what's going on. Uh, but let's do some focuses, shall we? Equip Galati. The Galati shipyard has, been, has a long shipbuilding history. With the loss of Constanta, we should ensure that Galati remains properly equipped to build and maintain our warships. Very cool. And I guess we'll go through the other focuses since these guys are continuing to kill each other. Develop Cetate Alba. Constanta, once the artery that connected us to the sea is in the hands of Bulgaria. Should we ever want our navy to see face to face with one of our southern neighbors, we need to expand what ports we have in Cetate Alba. Cool. And then the modern Randunica. The Randunica was the first modern torpedo boat of the Romanian Navy, launched in 1875. Its symbol is prominent among our officers and naval enthusiasts, and our new destroyers will carry its legacy with them into the Black Sea, or onto the Black Sea, and exuding raiders. Subs are now proven raiders. The previous war made that very obvious, and the Romanian Navy should take full advantage of their capabilities to wreak havoc throughout the Black Sea. Very good, 1941, of course. Better fighters, please. Thank you. Oh, Wilhelm II is dead. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're definitely trying against these guys. Hopefully the Russians... Oh, no, the Germans are pushing back out. They did take over the Rhine, though. Oh, boy. It's definitely still give and take. But King Ferdinand. A proper flagship for the Romanian Navy has been envisioned for quite some time, but was never actually made a reality. This dream must be made a reality to become a serious power in the Black Sea. Considering her capabilities and limitations, a cruiser will, f will certainly do. An IAR expansion... Industria Aeronautica Roma, Romana is the largest Romanian aircraft manufacturer responsible for most of our fighter development and production. To ensure their continued ex contribution to a war effort, they needed expanded investment. The legacy of Vlaiku. Well, let's do this one. Uh, no, this one. There we go. Yep, yeah, oh, the Paris might fall. You never know. Uh, let's see. We did this one. Triana Viulia and the late Aurel Vacu are Romania's greatest aviation pioneers. The skills were not only limited to piloting, but to aircraft design as well. Our future pilots and fighters will bear the legacy of Romania's aeronautical heroes. Um, the reason I'm not sending volunteers is because I want to give our guys some time to get some more equipment under their belt. So that's really why I'm just not going to war yet. So, <clears throat> drop them from the sky. The Air Force's primary goal is to. Oh, there goes China. Destroy the enemy's aircraft. This is the only way to protect both our soldiers and citizens from enemy warplanes. Any bombing mission should only be considered when we have achieved air superiority. Not bad. We'll read the other one very soon. More extraction seems pretty fitting right now. And then we shall read Rain Upon Them Fire. Rain Fire Upon Them. Our Air Force's focus should be to support ground units with air support, bombing targets, and strong points to facilitate the Army's fighting capabilities. Our enemies should fear the skies as their bombers cannot let them feel safe. Very cool. Infiltration. We didn't even finish our land auction before we end this campaign, probably. Not Assault Tactics. Nice. Plus 25% more land night attack. I love it. There you go. Alright, so we're going to look at this. I feel like Drew Durnell now. And oh, the French, they're losing territory. They lost Paris, but they're still pushing into Germany. What is going on? And the Russians are maybe slowly getting pushed back. Maybe? They're not doing great, but we'll see what happens. And then, uh, actually, let's just wait to get... Let me read this one. While well, it isn't as developed as Galati, the loss of Constanta has tied her hands. We should develop the Braila shipyard to help pick up the slack. Not bad. After that would be King Ferdinand, Equin Raiders, the Black Sea Dominance. Our initial lack of resources should be no impediment to future total Romanian dominance of the Black Sea. With appropriate political will, we will make this a reality. Expand the Danube Flotilla. <clears throat> the Danube Flotilla proved to be instrumental in harnessing the Central Powers' defenses while supporting our own land forces during the war. As it is likely to fight its Austro-Hungarian counterpart once more, it should be further expanded. Absolutely. So we're done with all of this. We have more than enough fuel for the ages. Let's get some more radar, perhaps, and maybe some nuclear tech. And the defenders of the Danube. From Vienna to the Black Sea, the Danube is perhaps the great, single greatest road of transportation in Europe. As a matter of its mouths, we can greatly benefit from the river and all the economic activity alongside it, or along with it. That's actually, that's pretty good, too. I like that one. Alright, so, it's... Uh, there... Hold on. We gotta look at the couch for this war. Oh, uh, Russia, you got a circle there. A second Belkrete. Almost five million for the Berlin Pact. France, while they're taking a lot of losses, they're not doing too bad compared to the rest of the uh, group here. Wow. Of course, Russia has lost a million men itself, mostly, really just mostly to the Germans, and Italy is just kind of hanging out too. Uh, can I beat you guys up again? I mean, we could. I don't really feel like it, though, so. Come on, guys, please win. Please win. You got some non aggression pack? I can't imagine everyone just continuing like this socialist assembly, but you're authoritarians and you're not radical socialists. Alright. Well, they got a lot of manpower, actually, over there. They're on, uh,. All don't serve. Russia has had his million manpower on extensive conscription. These guys have about 100,000 on limit service by requirement, which is not bad, not great. 
Romanian nuclear arms? Yes, please. Look at Bragla. How about we do Defenders of the Danube? That helps consumer goods factories, a little more stability. Let's grab some tactical bombers as well, even though we're not even going to be using them. That's fine. And Germany, how are you all? doing about probably three quarters of a million manpower extensive inscription i'd love to see their stockpiles in austria well they're doing okay in france they're starting to run out but they are on service by requirement huh i love watching as they're all killing each other oh we need more manpower too we're building more roads i kind of like that i kind of like building more roads kind of nice kind of nice ah uh, poland's actually pushing out a little bit these guys are actually pushing out maybe um, it's kind of disappointing maybe to end the campaign before these guys all end. And we already read all the focuses. Not much is going on. I mean, it's still anyone's game between France and the German Empire, realistically. This guy still have a little bit of manpower left. I just, I would love to see the stockpiles. Actually, can we send attaches to people? No. Can I send attache to you guys? Why don't you want me to send attache? Okay, Italy. There you go. Let's see how the Italians are doing. Oh, what was any issues diplomatic protest? Go shock a fat one, man. All right, so take a look here. The Italians are looking like they're missing a little bit of equipment. It really looks like this is going to be a stalemate for quite a while. I mean, these guys might win. Eh, they're still pushing out slowly, slowly. But I, mean, I guess the biggest thing here is that we did well. And that was my main goal. I mean, these guys are going to kill each other. So I guess we'll probably have to wait maybe into another campaign to see what happens uh, when they all kill each other off. So, I think we'll just end it here, because this is going to go on a while, we, we know it's going to happen. Either the Austrians and the Germans will win, and they'll defeat the Russians and the Communists, or the Radical Socialists, I should really say. But it looks like the, the Radical Socialists are probably going to lose, eventually. But, you know what, if you enjoyed this campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great Romanian rest of your day.